In this example video, we're going to look at review exercise 1410. So it tells us that on June 1st, 2019, our company is going to recall bonds with a face value of 200,000 and a current book value of 190,000. And they're going to pay $192,000 to retire the bonds. So we need to prepare the journal entry to record the retirement of the bonds. So when we recall them, that means that we are paying them off before they mature, before their due date. That is something that would be explicitly stated in the agreement that we have with the bondholder that we can recall the bonds early and at what price we're going to call them at. So we are calling them um, at $192,000. And again, when they're talking about the book value, they're looking at the difference between the um, face value that we've recorded in bonds payable and any unamortized discount that is remaining in this case. Um, on that bond. So we're going to do that journal entry. So on July 1st, we are recalling our bonds. So we have to remove our bonds payable, has to come off our books at face value. It goes on our books at face value, has to come off our books at face value. We are recalling them at 192000 and the book value is at 190000 which means that we have a loss on bond redemption. We are losing out on $2,000. We are spending $2,000 more than what that bond um, is technically worth on our books at that time. We have to remove the remaining discount on bonds payable, the unamortized remaining amount, which is $10,000, which we know because our book value or carrying value is $190,000, and the bond payable was at $200,000. So the carrying value is always the difference between the bonds payable and the discount, or if it's a premium, it would be the sum of the two. So we have 10,000 left that we haven't amortized yet because we're recalling it early. So we have to remove that discount. And then we're paying out cash of $192,000.